Okay, hi there. It's Minecraft Grand, the geeky Minecrafter, geeking out over here. I got like 19 windows open trying to get everything done right. Uh, today I thought we'd have a little live episode. We'd do a little mining. Uh, I'm on a new server. Again, you know, this is a Let's Play series, and I, I do play on a lot of different servers. There's different communities on, on each one, and each one brings something unique to the mix. Now, I really like this new server. Um, it's got some interesting uh, biomes. What I really like about it is uh, the community. The Sun Goddess is the owner, and she is, you know, she just goes above and beyond. They've built an amazing spawn area, which I'll take you on a brief tour in just a minute. Um, and they've put together some community resources, like an XP farm, you know, to help you level up and, and be able to enchant some stuff. So I thought uh, I thought we'd take you down there, and then I do a little bit of mining. Um, I'm just about to get my infrastructure set up. Uh, that's the mine front, the mine back, um, some chest, the ability to uh, uh, work, basically. I mean, you know, this is Minecraft. And in order to build something, you've got to mine it first. In order to mine it, you've got to have resources. And in order to have resources, you have to mine it. So, you know, as you can see, there's some there's some mining going to be going on. So I think um, I think we'll get started if you're ready. Okay, hello and welcome. I'm Minecraft Gran, the geeky Minecrafter. I am a Minecraft playing granny. I started to teach my grandkids, and I continue because I absolutely love it. Um, I'm in a new world, a new server, and I'm building up some resources, and I thought uh, I thought we'd do a stream about that. I will take you on a little bit of a tour, show you spawn, excuse me, and uh, what we've got going on up there. Uh, I have um, come into the world, and I have just mined right straight down from my little hobbit hole up above, and I have built uh, built myself a, a few resources. I've got a crafting table down here, and I've set up some furnaces. I have created a channel. See, it runs, uh, what is that, left, uh, east and west? Okay, this is west. Let me go ahead and mark that. Um, we'll do it right here. Need a couple of signs, right? One, two, there we go. Uh, again, this is, this is one of the first things I do when I uh, come into a new world is I, I set myself up. I, you know, there's a lot that goes into this. Let's see, this is the west cut. Let's see, what what biome am I in? I think I'm in a, I think extreme hills. And since I will have more than one map, um, I'll go ahead and, and name this one. So, west cut extreme hills. We'll come down here and do the same thing right over here. And one of the other things I will do, again, this is just part of what I do on a new world, is uh, I will go up to the top. And I will cut a skylight down. I like having the, the daylight in my mind. It lets me know if uh, it's daylight outside, if I'm ready to go upstairs and, you know, cut some trees or uh, breed the animals or harvest some food. So I like knowing that. I will probably put a uh, mine, mine shaft or a skylight right in here. You know, something like, like this. Just bring it down. And we'll we'll do that in a little bit. I'll I'll figure out those coordinates and I'll go upstairs and uh, and do that. So I think before we begin, let's, let me just take you on a really brief tour. Um, actually, you know what? Let's do this at spawn. Let's start at spawn. Oh, I didn't bring any weapons. I'm hoping I won't need them. Okay. So when you first spawn into this world, this is uh, this is spawn town, if you will. Uh, there are some resources over here for players, uh, you know, an initial set of uh, food and, and some uh, ar uh, leather armor. Uh, these, This is your welcome board. Here are your, ser your server rules. Uh, let's see, the stables are this way, but this is the people door, not the horse door. Now, the nether portal is this way, the end portal. Uh, we, have, we have both. So the end portal is this way. The shops are down there. Uh, and one thing we we did just finish was an a XP farm down here at the um, the end. So let me drop in here. Okay, so there's two ups, and I think it's this one that leads to the. Uh, nope, uh, I was wrong. That leads over, you know, to the end. This one leads to the farm. So let's run down here. 
It's quite a distance out. Um, we made it according to, I think it's King Happy it was talking about his Ender Farm. Now, it's not quite as big. We're, we don't want a bunch of lag. Uh, it only has about six or seven spawning levels instead of the, you know, 30 that King Happy builds. Uh, that, that boy builds everything way too big. <laughs> not that I'm complaining, okay? It's a really great design. So we went uh, all the way down to the bottom of the world. We went 150 blocks this way to ensure that none of the Endermen spawning in at the end were going to interfere with our spawn rates over here. Uh, we created uh, a one wide drop path for them to drop down on and hoppers to pick up you know, the, the Ender Pearls. Yeah, player lockers right over here, anvils, furnaces, enchant tables right over here, and then up here is where the ender farm is. Yeah, they're one hit. You know they've been dropped uh, 42 or 43 blocks. So they're easy for me to do this. And I apologize. Let me bring the um, creature sounds. You don't want to hear all that. You bring them down where you can hear them angry. That's one of the things I do when I'm, uh, when I'm farming them, if you will. Um, I get them mad, so they'll run at me. So they'll come right down here where all I have to do is stand here and just wail on them. This is a quick way to run up your levels. Uh, and gosh, again, I'm new on the server, so I didn't have any tools. So having this farm is just a godsend. So I'll come up here, run my levels up, and then run right down here, enchant my next tools, and then move on. Okay, so I'm not going to run all the way back down the, um, the hallway here. I do have a uh, three home points that I've set up. One is the mine, uh, which is here. Uh, one is the, mm, you know, I don't know. Oh, I just have two set up, mine and end. So right up here, I guess I should name one for my hobbit hole. I'll show you what that is and, and the area where I live in. It's it's kind of a neat area. I've been planting some trees. Um, I've got a little bit of wheat growing. Again, I put the initial, oh my god, I've got to have this down and then began mining because you need resources to do everything. So first thing I did was go down to bedrock, come up to, and just start mining. Uh, the tour is almost over. I'm just going to show you where I am, what it looks like outside, what my resources are. Uh, now, I, I started going this way. I was going to put my mine exit down here, but as, as it turns out, I am right here. It just, you know, it popped out. So I've got this little interior bit right here. I'm not going to not gonna take you out there because there's a bunch of mobs out there right now. It's dark. Let's see. I shouldn't have. God willing, and the creek don't rise. Last night I came out, and there was a creeper right here. He blew up. See all this cobblestone? I had to replace it. Okay, so this is the area that I live in. Sun Goddess lives, uh, I don't know, two or three hundred blocks that way. I'm in an extreme hills area. Um, I already have a horse. Thank you, Sun Goddess. Uh, have an initial uh, little bit of a farm right up here. Not much of one. Oh, goodness, there's a creeper, and I did not bring my sword, did I? Oh, I did. Is this the one that has knocked back? Because uh, I do not want him blowing up my farm. Oh, good, he went away. Okay, so again, not much of one, just a little bit. I'm, I'm just capturing, you know, what's flowing down here anyway. I threw a little dirt on top of all this stone, and I've got the... You know, the beginnings of a short farm. I will definitely improve this. As you, If you know me at all, you know that I do a lot of my farming underground because, you know, I spend a... <gasps> really? Really? Little jerk face. So where did he come from? Was he in... Was he in the garden and I missed him? Come on, Mr. Sheep, really? Come on, come on, really? I don't want to... 
don't want them in my pen. I mean, don't want them in my food area. Look, they trample it all down. So, yeah, I'm going to have to get busy and, and replant, do some, do some funky things here. Okay, now I've ridden, uh, I don't know, 100 blocks in that direction, 100 blocks in that direction. In fact, I found some pumpkins right over there. Um, nice little area, lots of little rivers. Uh, so, you know, it's a nice, calm little area. I've got some interesting architectural or, uh, not architectural, what's, geographical? No, geology, I don't know. Uh, I got some hills over here, really loving the hills. Uh, put a bed down. I probably should carry that with me down to the mine since I spend most of my time down there. I've begun a little bit of storage up here, a little bit of storage down here. Uh, again, I've been collecting a little bit of food. As you can see, you know, I've got some, some minor food, enough to keep me going, uh, till I can build some resources up and uh, get things going over here. <gasps> Are you kidding me right now? Oh. <sighs> really oh my goodness well okay here's the good news I lost all my levels but see why didn't that ladder catch me it should have caught me I'm so sad I'm gonna go put a couple more uh, ladders up there just in case so this won't happen again Huh. Okay, well, uh, that's disappointing. I really thought I had set this up so that I couldn't die. Uh, maybe I need to go make some <laughs> buckets and get some water and make that a, uh, a water. You know what, let's do that. Do I have my, I don't have my axe here. Good grief. Really? Oh, and I, ha I already have way too much stuff. What happened here? Oh, I don't have my armor on. That's part of it. Let's put my armor on. Um, let's put up some of this stuff. Uh, deco stone. Where is deco stone? Here it is. So gravel. I mean, the gravel I use when I am uh, when I'm around lava. Oh, I do have a bucket of water right here. I don't want the silk touch. Let's put this right here. Okay, I'm sorry. I, you know, I'm, I normally don't uh, don't need to organize like this. I thought I was all prepared. Oh, and look at this. I can't get out. Help me, Lord. <laughs> Let's put some water right there, just in case. What I do with that little stone? that right there put the rest of this stuff up good grief okay I carry my uh, ender chest with me now uh, was it PBT no um, trying to think on data server solitude no you know I'm sorry I can't remember I can't remember who it was that showed me this uh, he went mining with me and he carried his ender chest with him with a silk touch to pick it up. So he has double the storage, okay? You have everything you can have in your ender chest, and then you have everything you have in your normal inventory. So great idea. Thanks for sharing that with me. Uh, I do not need the axe for mining. I don't need any of this precious stuff, so we'll put that up. Uh, I do want to put this back down. Here, we'll put it in there. That's fine. What else do I need to get rid of? Well, I think we're good. I don't need the, um, I'll, I'll keep the arrows. Keep the milk because, my luck, I run into a cave spider and that sucker fish bites me and then I die because I wasn't paying attention. I'm almost starving to death anyway. Okay, I think that's going to do it here. Let's, let's put these two up. No, you know what? I'll carry them with me. And then uh, if I encounter some lava, I'll bring it back and we can do some smelting. <gasps> Look, I dropped a diamond. Okay. So I apologize for the delay. <laughs> That's it. Um, so I've, I've begun the front, uh, the front side of the mine. For me, one, two, three wide means the front. The back 
means it is too wide. So that's what I've done. I've cut a couple of slits uh, that go down 250 blocks this way. Um, and I did, uh, I counted them as I went. You know, actually, uh, I grabbed the F3 and made a note of where I was. And then when I went 100 blocks in, I uh, dropped a torch and I did this little hollow uh, right here. See, just three up, three down. That tells me that this is the 100 block mark. So I have another one down here. And then I went 50 on the other side of that. So 250 is about my max length for each slit, although I cut multiple slits. Uh, but 250 is about all you can do before your inventory is just completely full and you have to run back to the base anyway. So by putting workstations every 250 blocks, front and rear, I uh, just mine all the way down, drop everything off. Mine all the way down, drop everything off. So this is where I had I'd gotten to. I'm working, working my way down. Uh, I got to make it you know, jump all the way out, got to make it go all the way down, so that every one of the, uh, 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 look at this first block, sweet, oh, but I do hear lava, so let's go around it a little bit, let's grab the, um, let's grab the silk touch, yeah, um, Please don't be lava. Please don't be lava. Yeah, see, I don't normally do that. I would normally go all the way around. Nice! Right off the bat. Well, that almost makes up for dying on camera. <laughs> Good grief. You know, I, I, I think there's a way to check your stats. I, I think I have two deaths in here, and you just witnessed one of them. Um, I... You know, I'm 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 not a I'm not an expert Minecrafter. I know a little bit of redstone. I know a little bit of mining. I know a little bit of building. Okay, but uh, it's not often I die. That's really that's really pretty embarrassing. So I do like to pull all this out and then refill it. You know me. You know I I do fill my voids. I lost my little torch there. Uh, I like a nice clean mine with, with no extra voids it means that you know I don't I, I can light up only the area where we're working uh, and I don't I don't get any mobs spawning down here which is really really great news creepers uh, they love me they're attracted to me they, they blow up around me all the time um, in fact as soon as I find a biome where the ocelots you know, can be found. I'm going to go see if I can't tame me a cat and keep it around. Oh, see, I knew I heard lava. Come on, come on, come on. No, really. Oh, can't get any closer. Oh, come on. Okay, that means there's going to be lava right there. Come on, come on. Why is it not letting me put that up there? See? Okay, let's see if we can go up. Good, it's not right there. It is, however, right there. Is it there? Why, yes it is. Okay, so I'm hearing it for a while. Let's see if it's over here. No, that's good news. So I may be able to get above it right here. Of course, I'm not going to jump too too high up in there until I know. Ah, please don't. You please don't. Oh, and I hear zombies. Oh, that looks like it might be high enough. in a cavern right here. Okay. I'm not going to knock anything down until I know 
what the situation is. Okay, lots of stuff behind me. So I'm just going to protect myself real, real quick. I uh, don't like letting them come in on me unannounced. You know, just funny that way. So that's too high. They shouldn't be able to get past that, right? God willing and the creek don't rise. Okay, now I can deal with the lava. So I have some um, have some gravel with me. This is why I carry gravel with me. Oh, I see there's only one deep. Two deep there, three deep there. Oh, so we have a really shallow lava pool. Good news. That's not too bad. Can't tell you how many times I've encountered one that's been five deep and goes on and on and on and on. Yeah, annoying like that, right? <laughs> oh, that would have been bad if I'd thrown an ender pearl over there and landed in the lava. That would have been really bad. Just saying. fill this in. See, it's pretty deep right back here. That kind of makes me think it's going to continue on. Oh, out of, out of gravel. Good thing I carry multiple stacks. Uh, this is my favorite way of dealing with lava. <clears throat> It means that, you know, I could fill it in. Oh, goodness, now it's dark. I normally light this up. Why did I not? Okay, that was the last one of those. Now, we go around the edge a little bit because uh, I don't always believe that that's the end. Now I'll be playing back here, knocking stuff out. See, like that one, fall right in lava. I'm pretty notorious for just walking off into it. I'm I'm doing better. Oh, that was uh, okay. That works too, I guess. I'm I'm getting better at doing the sneak when I'm around lava. Uh, but man, your finger gets tired after a while, and I don't like to leave lava unattended, as it were. You know, if I find it, I'm gonna deal with it. I'm gonna deal with all of it at once, so I don't accidentally run up on it. You know, in a little bit. Uh, when I'm cutting my next channel. Come on. Come on. I cut channels three apart, three wide, uh, which means, you know, the next time I'm down here, I'm going to run into lava again unless I go ahead and just deal with all of it. Uh, let's see. A little bit more on the edges. This is also a really good place to find diamonds. Just saying. Okay, so it's looking pretty good. Although, what am I hearing over here? zombie villager even. Let's see if he can get over. I like to um, like to let him try. That way I know if I'm going to come back down here in a little bit and somebody's going to be wandering around in my mind. I'm going to go ahead and build this up a little. Let's see. Can you get out? That one's done. Hi, honey. Want some of this? Want to? Want to? Okay. Now, again, I do like... Um, what, I, what I typically do... Uh, this is just... 
This is just me. Oh, good. Thought that was a creeper. Oh, see? That is a creeper. Do not want him to blow up. Let me get my sword out. I don't need silk touch for what we're doing. And this is a pretty, pretty good sword. Knockback 2, Bane of Anthropods 4, and Looting 3. Now, I won't need the looting on the uh, creeper, but, you know. Let me get up here. Oh, really? Okay, there we go. He's hissed a wee. I hear a little one, though. Yep. Come here. Come here. Oh, got a little bit of lag happening. I think he's toast. Oh, man. Do I have a zombie spawner? You know what? Let's, uh, let's fill this in for just a minute. I don't want any of the little ones to get in here until I've finished what I'm trying to do. So basically what I like doing is creating a, like a lattice work. Um, I can see through it, so I know what's on the other side, uh, but they can't get through. Now they'll try, they'll try to jump up on something else, but I will, you know, fill this in high enough that nobody can get in. Oops, not this one. Go ahead and do this for just a minute. Okay, now this will solidify it, okay? Now I won't do the top one, but I will do, let's see, this one and this one. Again, I want to be able to see through it. I want to know what's on the other side. Again, not the top, unless I, uh, unless I do this. Oh, not this one. Good grave. There. Okay, so nobody can get through there. I, what I'm trying to do is prevent spiders as well as the other kind of mobs. Um, so we're going to leave that one open and close this one. Okay? So at this point, see, I can see that there is a cavern on the other side. I can see what's going on on the other side. And this is mostly because I don't have any glass yet. Uh, if I had glass, this would be a different story. Let's go get a little XP, because, you know, we're here. We can. Look at all that lapis right there. I need that lapis. But what I'll do, I'm, I'm still setting up my, my cave infrastructure. I will mark this channel uh, to indicate that there is something up here, and I will come back and uh, explore this, light it all up, especially if I find an XP farm, because... You know, you can't uh, you can't have a whole bunch of whoozy what's it in here. Now, because of the little ones, I'm going to leave the bottom done. Let's see. Let's go ahead and get rid of this and leave this. I don't want the little ones running around in my mind unattended, so I think that does it, right? Can they get... I don't think they can get in. Okay. So we're pretty protected now. We'll do this. Okay, all done. So I can pull the resources out of here. I'm still looking for lava, still looking to clear it up. And then I'll head back down and we'll continue. Okay, let me get my gold and go. Hope I can find out. Good grief. Where did I come down? Up oh, right here. There we go. That's going to let me back in. And just to be on the safe side, I'm going to put this... Oh, no, he can walk right up. Never mind. I'm pretty, I'm pretty blocked off right up here, unless they fall down from below. I've got some resources in this channel I need to come back and get. Right, let's see where we're at. Did we get rid of this lava? We did. That was the goal. OK. 
Okay. So I need a bit more light. And I'll put two torches down here to indicate this is where I've left off. This is the side I'm working on. Again, I'm anal retentive. Okay, I like to know those things. So let's go back down here. Um, oh. You know what? Let's do this. Let's set a home point. Uh, mine back. So I should have three now. The mine front, the end, and the mine back. So if I go home mined, quick jump. Yay! Let's, uh, let's lay off some iron, some gold. Sweet. How did I acquire hardware? Hmm. That's a little interesting. Okay, I'm going to grab these because I do believe I now have a fortune pick. I, w I spent some time in the... Oh, that goes up. Spent some time at the Ender Farm and gathered up uh, and enchanted, as you can see, quite a few tools. I was really, really looking forward to this. So here's a fortune one. It's not the best, but it is a fortune. Let's see if we have any fortune one as well. So I take stone and, and uh, iron tools down there, junk tools basically. So if I need to reset the enchant table, I throw one of those down and enchant it. Yeah, I'm missing a couple of uh, levels, but um, it, now it resets and I'm able to go on and do the next one. So let's, uh, now that I've got a fortune pick, let's go lay these five diamonds down and see what we get. Uh, it's this one, okay. Nice. Ah, uh, six. Well, you know, that beats a sharp stick in the eye, right? Okay, what else we got? Okay, and this is the direction we were working in. Um, you know, I promised you a tour of spawn, so let's go ahead and do that real fast. I'll uh, show you some of the uh, farms, some of what's going on. Now, if you're a PvP player, they have some uh, PvP worlds right up here. Uh, not really sure I understand the allure of PvP. I don't want to. I don't want to kill myself uh, by throwing myself on somebody else's sword. That's just ridiculous. Uh, but there are some PvP worlds, some death games right up here and right over here. This is a view. Let's see. Of a couple of the farms that are going on. Oh, it looks like somebody's built a little house over there. I wonder what that is. You know, it's pretty pretty late at night. Let me get my sword out. I don't know any other way to get here. This is the first time I've seen this place. Oh, this looks like it may be a part of spawn. This may be the, the buildings down below popping up. It is. So I have seen this stuff, but I've seen it from inside. Fake doors. Okay. Well, I don't know if I'll rebuild or regenerate if I jump down, so I'm not gonna. I'm gonna go back down the way I came up. Uh, and then we'll continue our tour. Oops. Let's come in this side. There we go. Okay, again, death games are around the corner this way. There's two sides death games around the corner this way. I believe oh nope it looks like it's going to go somewhere it doesn't yet. Sorry about that. I am battling some display adapter issues. So hopefully I'll be able to cut that together and hopefully um Twitch is still publishing. You know what? I'm embarrassed to tell you. I was not watching the chat. Are you guys still here? <laughs> okay, my apologies. Technical difficulties, like I said. Welcome, Lord Crazies. Uh, I've been following a couple of your videos. I really enjoy them. Thanks for sharing those. So I'm here. 
Oh, it looks like I'm stuck. Nope, here we go. I'm here on uh, one of the other servers. I uh, found it through Cherry, believe it or not. Uh, one of the players on Cherry is the owner of this server. So I've been uh, been coming out here playing this. I was just giving people a tour. This is the stables. This is the people door for the stables, actually. There's a horse door at the other end. Uh, again, it's a new server, so things are just getting started. Uh, Dino is here. PBT is here. Uh, and as soon as I find a horse, I may be here. I don't know where the horse door is, though. You know, I was here a couple of times before, and I did not see a horse door. This entrance that I came up on says, you know, this not to bring uh, not to bring the horses up here. It says it's a people door. There's the stables, but no horse entry. Use other door, and I haven't been able to find the other door. So there you go. Um, this way is the Nether portal, the city, and the st oh here's maybe the other door for the stables. So there's the Nether portal. I really haven't done any exploration there because I just got my tools. Um, we just put in a uh, a Enderman farm. The Sun Goddess let me help build that and managed to run up my uh, XP so I could start <laughs> janting some tools. So this way is the city and the city farms. This way is a uh, library and uh, some fun stuff. Up here is the mushroom farm. When you first come in, um, you can come down here and take what you need. They're pretty good about, uh, you know, providing the initial stuff that you're going to need to get started. So here is, you know, uh, sugar cane. As a matter of fact, I'm going to take a little bit of sugar cane while I'm here. So I want to build my own enchant table. Uh, they have farms set up, which you can auto-harvest by throwing this switch. But they do ask that you, of course, naturally replant. Um, the cow and sheep farm is this way. Community farm is to the left. Slime farm is to the right. There's a community garden up here. Let's see, I don't know what that is. This is the enchantment house. Isn't this nicely done? With an ender chest in here so you can keep uh, keep your tools handy. This is the community chicken farm. I think this one's eggs, yep. This one's cooked chicken, yep. And then uh, an ender chest so you can restock back at your base so you don't fill up your inventory. I like that. Uh, this building up here, this is beautiful. I don't know what it's going to be. Hopefully a library. This would be gorgeous as a library. Uh, but I don't know. They're still working on it. And then what's this over here? We have a well and maybe a watchtower. Maybe. Of course, if it's going to be a watchtower, it should be a little bit taller. What the heck is that thing? Look at all the beacons going over there. I don't know. Let's go see. Looks like more of a garden right up here. That was the chicken farm. Unknown. I'm going to check this out. This is the community furnaces. So... Whatever you need to cook, you can put in right up here. They keep it stocked with coal. Um, and then you get your cooked stuff down here. And again, they're pretty good at, at, you know, I don't know where all the beef came from, but... Well, nuts. Although, through the magic of video editing, it doesn't look like I was gone very long. That was a little half-hour ordeal. Uh, apparently, this time when I crashed, Camtasia crashed as well, and it took uh, about half an hour to recover that video. So, apologize. I'm not even sure if I'm going to leave all this in the in this video. So, let me just finish the tour and then wrap up, and we'll call this episode good. Okay, so over here, uh, as a part of the community, we have some uh, cows and some moo, sh moo cows, and I, I did just uh, feed them while I was waiting on the uh, video to finish. So they're not they're not taking any more um, uh, food, but as you can see, we have some new little babies. Uh, ideally, you know, you want to keep as many new babies as, as you pull out. 
uh, and you have to leave at least two, and please, whatever you do, don't kill the mushrooms. Um, there are pigs and sheep as well if you need wool or mutton. Uh, again, breed them and replenish them. So you'll find what you need to feed them in here. Uh, this is um, basically these farms washed down, all washed down to here and are segregated. So, you know, it's, uh, I'm going to leave this wheat here. Actually, you know what? I may, um, I may take some of that. Maybe, maybe they won't notice. Shh, don't tell. Uh, I'm going to take a little bit of that and a little bit of seeds. And uh, let's see, do I have carrots at my place? I'll take 32 just in case. So uh, I'm going to use this to start my own farm. I'm, I am going to start it underground. Uh, having to go up there and dip, battle creepers is just not working for me. So let's finish the tour. And uh, I was coming over to see what that is. I, I don't know what that is. It's huge, whatever it is. And it's got beacons that go on for days. Uh, looks like this way is to the Zen Garden. Okay, where's the door? No door. Really? Yeah, and I have a feeling jumping down there is not going to be good for your health. Uh, really? No door? Uh, yeah, okay. I see that there are stairs, but uh, there's no railings, and I don't do really well with heights, so... I'm not gonna try it till they put a door in. Okay. Oh look, we have a church. Isn't this fun? This is new. This wasn't here the last time I came down to uh, Spawn Town. So the owners and and admins are going a long way to, you know, building a pretty neat little little town here. Okay. There's a there's a moo cow running around all by himself. I need the leather. Come here, honey. Come here. Come here. It won't hurt a bit. I promise. Mm. Oh, we're coming on dark. I'm going to get back indoors, shall we? Okay, yeah, I did just die. <laughs> you can see I'm down to level 13 again. Uh, giant mushroom. Now, there are some shops right over there, which you can get to. Uh, there's an interesting little, um, like, elevator and uh, whatchamacallit, uh, waterfall. Okay, see this, this big, long thing right here? Uh, when you came out of spawn, there was a path that led to the shops. Uh, and the very, very first time in here, believe it or not, I'm, I'm running around. I've got no armor. I've got no food. I've got, no, I've got nothing. And I drop down. I fall right through here. I step out, and there are three zombies right here. So I'm hitting them. I'm backing up, and I'm, you know, I know this is up. So I'm jumping because I'm. Th I thought it was a water up. Okay, I'm jumping. It's not going anywhere. Okay, it died right here. Uh, and so. Bless your heart, Sun Goddess, for putting the notes in here, because I I missed it completely. Yep. Let's see. Up and then out. There we go. Okay. So yeah, very first time through, didn't know it was a minecart. Died trying to jump into a water up. So that'll teach me. Uh, this is, I think, where we started. We were ready to mine. I set up my infrastructure. I've run down there, uh, and put together the the tail end so I've got one two three slits cut I'm ready to start the fourth one uh, and I think I think that's all I've got cut down through here um, I'm ready to go mining so stay tuned to the next episode I'll stream again real soon um, this is minecraft grand the geeky minecrafter signing out happy mining <laughs>